Pre-registration must be postmarked by May 20th. It's $20 or $30 if you'd like a t-shirt. You can also raise pledges for a chance to win additional prizes, one of which is a digital camera. If you register on that day, it is $25 for everything. You can get your pre-registration form from the main office or on teamshad.org. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to Wildcat News. I'm Nick Spira. And I'm Hope Douglas, and today is Thursday, May 15th, day three. Now for the official countdown until the last day of school. There are only 19 days left. Yippee. Back to the news. A student is in need for, of a female volunteer for a culminating project who is looking for a fresh new look. Uh, she will be provided with a full hair, makeup, and style makeover. If anyone is interested, please see Mrs. Werner. Okay, all you softball fans. Here's your chance to show your school spirit. Come to the girls' softball game this Friday, the 16th, and cheer on the team as they extend their season into districts. The cost of tickets is $5 for adults and $3 for students. We all look forward to seeing you there. The meeting for Baccalariat has been changed to Tuesday, May 20th. You will meet in room 222 at 725. There will be a volunteer club meeting on, Tuesday, on Friday excuse me, morning in room 294. All members, please attend and bring your baked goods for the sale after school. Also, many thanks to all who participated in the car wash yesterday. Both members of the club and those bringing your cars to be washed, your cars looked wonderful. Attention 2008-2009 yearbook editors. There will be a brief meeting in Ms. Robertson's room on Friday, May 16th at 720. If you cannot attend, it is very important that you see Ms. Robertson before the end of the day on Friday. Attention seniors planning to apply for the Amanda Pearsall Memorial Scholarship. Applications must be submitted to the guidance office by the end of the day today. Also, prom tickets are on sale before and after school in room 117. Cost is $77 per person. Tomorrow will be the last day to purchase tickets. Attention international club members. There will be a planning meeting Friday morning at 7.30 in room 260 for the final meeting of the year. Nominations of officers for next year will be accepted. Day 3, period 1 study hall has been moved from the cafe to room 121. Intervisions, the high school's art and literary magazine, is available on the Cottage Shack for only $2. Copies are moving quickly, so get yours as soon as possible. Any seniors who are going on to, the, to Hershey Park, we are meeting in the back lobby between 8 and 8.15. The buses will be leaving at 8.30. And all students must be signed in and on the buses at this time. Please plan to, to arrive between 8 o'clock and 8.15 Friday evening. Varsity track athletes, Coach, Bar Coach Barshinger is still in need of a few volunteers to help with today's junior high ice cream party. Anyone interested in helping an after school should stop in room 105. Volunteers will earn free ice cream. Junior high track athletes should report to the stadium for the ice cream party after school today. If you are one of the 21 athletes that have not turned in your uniform yet, you must have it to get and get it to the coaches before the ice cream party or you may not attend. Anyone interested in membership for guard or majorettes for the marching band, training and tryouts will take place the week of May 27th through the 30th. Information will be available through, um, through the band office at the start of the week. Band members interested in the positions of drum major, section leaders, or drill instructors, instructors may pick up information packets from the music office. Training starts next week with auditions on May 27th and 28th. Thanks, Hope. On Friday in your AA, you'll be voting for student council officers and representatives. Now we're going to introduce you to the 10th graders running for 11th grade representative. Hi, I'm Lindsay Bear and I'm running for 11th grade student council rep. Hi, I'm Shelby Blyle and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, I'm Flora Kaplan. I'm running for your student council representative. I'm Tanner Carmen, and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hey, uh, I'm Eric Chestnut. You should vote for me for 11th grade student council representative because that'd be cool. Hi, I'm Natalie Cox, and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, I'm Mary Momogravi, and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. My name is Allie Giebel, and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, my name is Hannah Graf, and I'm running for 11th grade student council. 
Hi, I'm Amy Jacobs and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. I'm Lauren Kaufman and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, my name is Greg Sivik and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, I'm Artyom Mopachinka and I'm running for 11th grade student council. Hi, I'm Carly Marquette and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, I'm Jordan Nicholson and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, I'm Emily Perkinson and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Okay, I'm Kat Phillips. I am running for 11th grade student council rep. Hi, I'm Ashley Reeder. Vote for me for student council representative. I'm Cassidy Shear and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, I'm Izzy Spanswick and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. Hi, my name is Brant Witt and I'm running for 11th grade student council representative. They look just as good as the ones yesterday. You're absolutely right, Hope. Good luck tomorrow, sophomores. And that's the way it is. Now have a moment of silent reflection. Followed by the morning meditation and pledge to the flag. For Ben Lilly, Jacob Muller, Eric Wilson, and all who made this newscast possible. I'm Nick Spira. Have a good morning. Good morning. I want to take a moment this morning just to say thank you to all of Dallas Town's student volunteers. Your acts of caring and the example you set make a positive impact on the lives of others. Thank you, Red Cross Club members, blood donors, volunteer club members, students against substance abuse, student council, honor society, big brothers, big sisters, student volunteers, um, tutors, uh, student guides, participants in music, drama, and sports, and so many others. Dr. Martin Luther King said that life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing to help others? Have a great day, Dallas Town, and let's each try every day to lend a hand or say a kind word to someone else along the way.